this is Summer. If you are new here, oh, welcome to my channel. If you are not new here, oh, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to review the Too Faced Then and Now Anniversary Palette. I'm so super excited. I just got this in the mail. We're not doing a full-on review right now, guys. We're doing first impressions, but if you want to see that, then stick around. Palette, the celebration um, anniversary palette from Sephora on the 24 hour early app early access. access. This, this palette, palette does have 20 colors. It has 10 that are the original 10, and then it has 10 that are the new redone colors for circa 2018. Um, there are some mattes, there's shimmers, there's glitters or foils, there's awesome, awesome colors in here. And they weigh 1.25 grams each. And that makes them cost approximately $2.95 a shadow. This is the front of the box. Of course, this is the back of the box. And this item is made in the USA. It's bulk made in the USA, assembled in the Dominican Republic. So that is very, very cool. Good to know. All right, guys. And this is, this is a 20th anniversary limited edition eyeshadow palette. So it's got 10 of the Too Faced original shades and then the modern versions of the same shade. So Too Faced started in 1998 and that is what this palette is about. So, so, so cool. It's formulated without parabens, sulfates, or phthalates. Um, let's see, it's got a mix of 20 pearl, matte, and glitter shades. Each has a creamy buttery texture for easy blendability. It's an added bonus. Oh my God, guys, it's an added bonus. Each shade smells like birthday cake and it does. Um, I will list the ingredients below for you guys because I haven't gone through them. This is not a full on review, but I'll list the ingredients below in the description for you guys so that you can check them out. But this is what the actual palette looks like. It's just gorgeous. It's glittery. It's got that Too Faced on the front. Then when you open it up, it's got this beautiful, nice mirror in it, which I'm going to try to not totally blind you guys out with, but the mirror is a nice sized mirror. Hopefully you guys can see it. And then you've got all of these beautiful shades right here. So we're just going to go all the way across like that. Right. I am going to do so swatches of this for you guys real quick, guys, but I'm not going to do the full on review. Make sure now. you go Make ahead sure. and subscribe if that is something that you want to see because I do a really thorough review of each palette when I get it. But this one I wanted to go ahead and do a first impressions. The thorough review will include single swatch, double swatch, wet swatches, three to five looks, and my initial thoughts and final thoughts on the palette. This is just my first impressions. So far, I love this palette. I did this look with it. And All I'm right, I'm going to go ahead and swatch the colors for you guys. And we're going to go across and do the top row first, which look at the fingerprints getting on this spool. Okay, which is the original 10. So we're going to go ahead and swatch those out first. So let me just grab. We're getting Twinkie, Pixie Dust, Dirt Bag, Rizzo, and Zsa first. All right. And then we've got okay. Temper Temper, Trixie, Villain, and Ice Queen on and the then. end of each row. There's a dual color like this. So we've got the black, that one's called Ooh La La, and we've got the silver. So we're gonna just swipe those there together as best we can. The first row in order. Gonna try to kinda, I hope you guys can see this because I just really am not sure where I'm at in this camera right now. Right. And now we're gonna go in with this second row which starts out with Glitter Donut. Goes all the way across to that dual shade. So we're gonna start with Glitter Donut. Then we, oops, we got Lost Boys next. We've got NSFW next. Then we have got Gretchen, and then we've got Reality Star. Now we've got I Can't Even, Gigi, Shady Bitch, Chill Out. And then we're going to go in with these last two, which is called Oh La La. Again, that was ooh and ah, sorry. This is Oh La La. So we've got a black and a gold, which before it looked more like silver. Okay, so these are the swatches for the second row. 
these are the circa 2018 all right guys so i hope you do find this video helpful when you're trying to decide if you want to buy this palette make sure that you go ahead and subscribe to my channel so you can come back and see the full review with multiple eye looks as well um i do love this palette guys off my initial thoughts i do just like first impressions i absolutely love it it's beautiful the colors are all absolutely gorgeous and they're just stunning and those glitter shades guys they are so soft but they go on so beautifully they really do even with the I brush them with a brush them. and then the swatches were with my fingers so you guys could see from that that they work either way you know they worked with the brush they worked with my finger they're absolutely gorgeous i cannot wait to use the rest of the shades in the palette and also guys i did forget to tell you this it does come with this little booklet in it for celebrating 20 years of being fabulous which i love that saying and in this little booklet it does give you um multiple eye look ideas so okay it gives you multiple eye look ideas there's one, two, three. So this is pretty awesome, guys. That's pretty awesome because I know a lot of people have a hard time coming up with eye looks when they get all these colors, but this one does give you several beautiful, beautiful ideas. So yeah, if you guys wanna see how I got this look, then just keep watching and make sure you go ahead and subscribe and ring the bell, guys. And please make sure you subscribe to my channel before you leave today because I will be doing a full-on review of this. If you do enjoy videos like that and reviews of eyeshadow palettes and other makeup and beauty products, then go ahead and make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you ring the little bell so that you'll be notified when I post future content. And also give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy this video. And guys, do make sure you add me on social media as well. YouTube does not always notify our subscribers when we post a new video. So I do always post it on Twitter and Instagram as well. So please make sure you add me there. I'm on Instagram at It's Always Summer 2018 and I'm on Twitter at It's Always Summer. If you guys want to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. Alright guys, so in the interest of saving time, I already did my base makeup, my eyebrows, my powder, my contour highlight, all that good stuff. I'll list those products down below for you guys. But we're going to go ahead and jump right into this palette and we're going to start out with the shade GG. Right there, we're going to use that first as a type of transition shade and you guys I'm going to try to edit this video as little as possible just so that I can quickly get it out to you guys because I know I personally have been looking for a review on this palette and this is just going to be more of a force I can't talk this is just going to be more of a first impressions guys just using it one time when I do an actual review you guys know that are already subscribed to my channel that I do usually do about five looks, somewhere between three and five, but a palette like this, I'll try to get five looks in on to really give you guys an idea of what you can do with that palette before you go plunk out your 60 bucks with shipping and taxes and all that stuff. It'll be over $60, guys. So if you really want this palette, then that's what you'll have to chunk out there. But I want you guys to really get a feel for it before you have to do that. Just like if I'm looking for a review on something before I spend my money on it, I like to really get a feel for it. And just one eyeshadow look really doesn't say it, guys, because, you know, one, one eyeshadow look, you're only using a few of the shadows. And when I do reviews, I generally... One eyeshadow look, you're just getting, um, you know, the looks... You're just getting a feel for how those shadows work. And when I do a full review, I try to use most or all of the shadows in the palette um, just because I feel like that gives you a more fair overview okay so right now we're still just blending out Gigi kind of as a transition shade and I do have a little hooded eye so I like to take mine up a little higher like that and um, then we're gonna jump in next I'm gonna wipe down my brush and then and normally guys I do use that cinema secrets spray in between and I am almost completely out of that so I always just either use that or my color swatch and then I just check it on the back of my hand to make sure I got all the color off so that I'm not um, giving you guys the same colors okay so hmm We're going to go in next with Villain. And this one's a really pretty purple. Uh-oh, I didn't show you guys the color. I try to usually edit and add that in. And when I do the full review, I will do it that way. So that we're not stopping and pausing and picking up the palette every few minutes. 
but I will go back and show you guys this color before we do the next eye. Okay, so the color that I'm going in with now that I just used on that eye is Villain right there. And that is from the original 10. Beautiful, beautiful purple. I love this color. That is just stunning. Guys, it really, really is. And I'm going to tell you what, from this, this is just, of course, from this one look. And when I do a full review, we'll get more of an idea on it. But just from this, so far, I'm feeling that these colors are super, super pigmented and gorgeous. Okay. I'm feeling like I lost... A little bit of GG. I'm gonna take a little bit of that shade GG. I'm gonna take just a little bit and go back over right on that top on both of them. I just feel like I lost some of that. Okay, gonna cut the crease, guys, real quick because I just feel like the colors are kind of mixing together and I don't want that. So we're gonna do a really, really fast cut crease. I'm not gonna, gonna try an Amy trick right here. If you guys don't know Amy, I'm gonna link her. I've seen Amy doing a um, cut crease with a sponge, and I've been interested in trying it, but I was a little chicken. But we're going to try it right now. And I could have probably used a smaller sponge, but oh my gosh, I love that. That makes life so much easier. I'm going to link Amy in the cards right here, guys, and also in the description below. Please go check her out. She is an amazing, amazing YouTuber. She has just beautiful, wonderful content. And look at how easy it is to cut the crease with that sponge, guys. And it keeps you from having such harsh edges. I love it. That's fantastic. So go check Amy out. I'm going to link a video where she does that. Now we're going to go in with Lost Boys. Now we're going to go in with that Lost Boys shade. That is the Forest Emerald Green looking color. It looks absolutely gorgeous and shimmery and green and i love that and we're gonna see how that pops on here oh yeah look at that guys see when you put that little bit of concealer how it just makes that color pop and i love that and we're gonna take by the way i love any reference to peter pan it's just like my favorite um so we're gonna take that a little over halfway across, guys. Just a little. I don't know why I'm doing stuff here, but. Oh, these colors so far. I'm just loving them, you guys. I can't wait to get to an actual on review which I'm going to try to post either later tonight or it could be tomorrow those do take me a so while I do try really hard to give you guys a really really good review and um, make sure that you can tell if you're gonna like this palette before you go out and spend your hard on money on it okay so we're gonna go in next with pixie dust on that inner corner pixie dust looks more of a like golden green and I do want to um, keep that inner corner lighter because I tend to have eyes that go downwards, you know, kind of tilt downwards on the outer edge, and I don't like that. So I try to keep my inner corner a little bit brighter so that they won't appear so obvious that way. All right. And I'm going to take a little bit of Lost Boys and come back over just to blend it up a little bit because I did lose some of that into that lighter shade. And just try to blend those two together a little bit more right there. Okay. All right, so that is where we're at right now. All right, I am gonna take a much smaller blending brush and I'm gonna go back with Gigi just one time to make sure everything's blended up here. And um, I 
And I'm gonna take a little bit more of Villain. Let me wipe that brush off. I'm gonna take a little bit more Villain and come back with that just on this outer edge, guys. Um, just cause I lost some of that Villain in there, I think. And so we're just gonna make sure we blend that purple back out into that outer corner and don't lose all that. And I did not tap my brush. So you see there's a little bit of fallout there. It's not bad, but that is honestly, guys, from me not tapping off the brush, which I'm horrible about forgetting I am. So, but we'll fix that right up. We will. Okay. All right, what color do we want to go under the eyes with? Because I want to go ahead and use a couple other colors. I'm going to take this shade Twinkie that's like, um... I'm gonna take the shade Twinkie right here that's a gold and I'm gonna pop that on my inner corner and we're gonna see how gold it is. I may pop a little bit on my brow bone too. Um, you know what I think I might do though? Hang on, let me see this ooh la la. Oh, that's pretty. All right, I'm gonna take ooh la la right here, just the lighter shade out of that little duo. I'm gonna take the Ooh la la. <coughs> I'm gonna take that and just pop it up there for a highlight on both sides. Cause I don't wanna go crazy with that. I've already got so much color on, but I just wanna give it a little pop. You know. You know how we do guys, you know how we do. All right, under the eyes, let's go with, let's see. What do I want to do? What do I want to do? What do I want to do? I want to go under the eyes first with chill out right here. And I may add some of that shady bitch color right there. Um, and I could even add a little reality star, but first let's start. No, you know what? Actually, I am going to start with shady bitch, but over here. Okay. I'm going to start with that. Um, just in the outer, to blend up into that purple that I've already got going on. Okay. And then, we're going to go in with Chill Out. And we're gonna take chill out and run that the rest of the way over. And honestly, guys, just because I wanna try as many colors as I could, um, that's the main reason, you know, for using a different color underneath right now. Because we are doing first impressions. And I wanna tell you guys what I think as well as I can without the full on review. So, so far, honestly, golly. Honestly, guys, I'm absolutely in love with every color I've tried in this I'm gonna palette. take a white liner and pop that in my waterline, just because we've got so much color in. everything going on. thumbs up make sure you subscribe to my channel before you get out of here today and also make sure you ring that little bell so that you'll be notified when i post future content and i will see you guys in the next video thanks for watching bye